Welcome back to News 11 at 4. South Florida seeing twisters and parts of the United States seeing snow, ice and rain. News 11's Patrick Clark live at Lambert Airport this afternoon talking to passengers today. Patrick. Yeah, Mike, you know, you've got two major storm systems, which John will tell you more about in weather. So they're affecting much of the continental United States. In addition, the FAA grounding 171 of those max airplanes. So a combination of all those things are meaning that travelers today at Lambert Airport need to exercise just a little bit of patience. Slim to slight delays Tuesday afternoon at Lambert St. Louis International Airport. I had a delay coming up this morning. I left at three o'clock this morning and we had a delay in Atlanta for an hour leaving from Augusta to Atlanta for to here, but I'm not expecting one going home. Arriving from Boston. Tuesday at midday and in the afternoon, Terminal 1 seeing passengers coming and going. Nope, layover in Salt Lake, flew in from Southern California, we're here. With Boeing 737 MAX 9 airplanes grounded due to that door coming off midair, and a nationwide chance for cold, rain and snow across parts of the West and Midwest, it meant a chance for delays and cancellations, like for this man heading to Iowa. I actually had a, a delay earlier today. I was here in the morning, but since then I've been trying to book a ticket because the, one of the airlines uh, couldn't uh, travel today. Because of the weather? Because of the weather. Travelers making their way in and out of Lambert understood the chance for an air travel inconvenience. And whatever may come for those taking flight, let Pete May and his patience be your best advice when taking to the air. My advice is to take one day at a time, enjoy that day for what it is because you have no tomorrow promised and yesterday's gone. Great advice indeed. Now your best bet uh, for whatever airline you're traveling may be downloading the app of that airline or making sure that you're receiving texts, emails or calls in case of any alerts or changes for your flights that are incoming or outgoing. I can tell you as the afternoon is worn on the big board we've seen more delays, slight delays, nothing too major but no cancellation so far. Inside the main terminal at Lambert St. Louis International Airport, Patrick Clark, News 11. Patrick, thank you.